retirement of a partner computing the gaining ratio. Now what happens is that in many cases let's say these are the three people A, B and C. Okay. Now in this case let's say for example one of these partners expires then what will happen is his share gets distributed amongst the other two partners okay and whatever is the amount of increase in profit sharing ratio that is known as the gain of A. Similarly whatever is the increase for B actually C will be known as gain for C. What you mean by gaining ratio is the ratio of these two gains which are made by the two partners okay so whatever is the incremental amount received by A vis-a-vis -vis the incremental amount received by C if you compare these two whatever is the ratio of these two that is known as gaining ratio. So let's get back to the question and then probably I'll explain to you what exactly is worked out in this. Okay. A, B and C are partners in the firm in which they share profits in the ratio of 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4 and 5 by 12. So 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4 and 5 by 12. Now here the denominators are different, right? So can we convert these also into a denominator where it is 12? So if you multiply 3, this by 4 by 4, 4 by 4 is 1, okay? You will get 4 by 12. If you multiply this by 3 by 3, you will get 3 by 12 and here you will get 5 by 12. And just to mention, this is the ratio of A, B and C. So their existing ratio is 4 by 12 is to 3 by 12 is to 5 by 12. B expires. Sad thing. He's crossed out. Okay then in that case what will happen we saw it in the previous video if you haven't had a chance to go through it please go through it that if a partner moves out whether by way of a retirement or due to death his share is distributed amongst the old partners in their existing ratio right so basically a over here okay will get what he will get 4 by 12 of 3 by 12. He will get 4 by 12, right? Or wrong? This is actually wrong. Can you, any one of you guess what it will be? I told you it is shared in the ratio of their numerators. Or in other words, the sharing has to be in the ratio of 4 is to 5. Right? And 4 is to 5 is what? 4 by 9 is to 5 by 9. Right? So A will get 4 upon 9 of B's share. And C will get 5 upon 9 of B's share. Right? Or in other words, you can just write it down as 4 times 3 gives you 12. Divided by 9 into 12 or 1 is to 9 right and similarly for this you get 15 by 9 times 12 gives you okay how much okay I can just knock these two off so 3 so 15 okay 5 by 36 or we can also write this as just to convert it into the same denominator 4 by 36 so the ratio of gain between A and C is how much 4 by 36 is to 5 by 36 or 4 is to 5. Now some of you who know how to calculate this might be wondering why is it that am I going this far off. This was just to prove that we can calculate it in this manner as well. Otherwise whenever if you remember I told you in the previous video whenever it is not given as to what ratio does the old new partner or the continuing partner share the profits and losses 
of the outgoing partner or the expired partner, we assume it is in the ratio of their existing profits. Or in other words, 4 is to 5. We could have simply said this like this also. But the reason I did this calculation was just to make the concept clear in your mind. 